Today we're doing skill review day seven. The objective is subtraction with input output tables. The materials needed for today are your online whiteboard or your whiteboard dry erase marker and dry eraser. And the teaching style we're gonna follow is where I do it, we do it together, and then you do it on your own. I'm gonna start by showing you an example. Okay, so this is the problem as you would see it on IXL. And it says to complete the table. The rule is subtracting three. So you can kind of think about this as a machine. And over here is what you put in the machine and over here is what you get out, okay? So the rule is that every number you put into the machine, you have to subtract three and that's the number that you get out. So you can see they did one of them for you. In the machine, they put eight, they had to subtract three, eight minus three equals five. So five would come out of the machine. So that's kind of like what you're doing. So if I put four in the machine and then I take away three, I'm left with one. So in IXL, I would put a one in there. Next, if I put in a five, and I take away three, I'm left with two. If I put in 10, and I take away three, I'm left with seven. Okay, so that's all you're doing is applying the rule to each of the numbers. Now, what you also might notice is that there's a pattern. So if you were to see this and you didn't know what the rule was, okay, you would have to look at each number and think, what did they take away? Did they take away the same amount each time? You might also notice that it counts up for five. So of course, on the output side, it goes one, two. The numbers are right next to each other because they're right next to each other when they go in. Okay, eight and 10 are two numbers apart, just like five and seven are two numbers apart. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do one together. The rule for this input output table is subtract seven. So you can see they had 14, they took away seven, and they ended with seven. I'll give you just a moment to get this input output table ready. And then we're going to fill in the three missing numbers over here. So go ahead and pause the video, get your table ready, and then press play. Okay, so first we're gonna start with nine. We know the rule is to subtract seven. So for every single one of these, we're gonna be doing nine minus seven, 12 minus seven, 13 minus seven, okay? So nine minus seven gives us two. 12 minus seven gives us five. 13 minus seven gives us six. And you can see just like these go in order, 12, 13, 14, our output's in order as well, five, six, seven. Okay, go ahead and erase that, make a new input output table. We're gonna do one more example together. This one is a subtract nine. Draw your input output table. And then I want you to fill in these three blanks. The rule is subtracting nine. So go ahead and finish your input output table, pause the video, and then when you're done, press play to see if your answers match mine. Okay, let's see if your answers match mine. So the rule is subtract nine. So if I have 10, then I subtract nine and I get one. They already did 12 for us, 12 minus nine equals three. 
we have to do 13 minus 9, which equals 4. Okay, and then 16 minus 9, and I actually don't even have to do 16 minus 9. I know that 16 is 3 more than 13, so I just need a number that's 3 more than 4, which is 7. And if you check your work, 16 minus 9 does equal 7. So it's all about looking for those patterns and making sure that that rule applies to each of the numbers. Okay, hopefully your numbers matched mine. You can erase your whiteboard. Now you're at the part where you're going to work on your homework alone. It's IXL skill F9, subtraction, input, output tables up to 18. So you'll be subtracting numbers up to 18. It's going to look just like we were practicing where you have a number, you have a rule that you have to apply to that number, and then you have to put what the answer would be. Go ahead and begin.